last two, three years, we've been running the Stay Alive campaign that came on the heels of the Arrive Alive mm. um, campaign. This year, we are focusing on speeds. In fact, when you look at the magnitude of the um, safety issues, the severity of the crashes, the, the, the number of fatalities, uh, about 60% of it uh, we trace to, to high speeds. Mm. So high occupancy vehicles using major corridors when they have the opportunity, um, they speed excessively, and if these uh, practices lead to crashes, uh, the impact is often severe. So we, we just launched the Stay Alive, the Stop Speeding yeah. Easter campaign on the back of our Christmas activation. And we still want to carry as many of us road users along the conversation of speed. That yes, um, if you have a good car, um, the road appears to be good, there is a tendency for you to get into those elements. But we have said it time and again that if two vehicles, for instance, were to leave Accra for Kumasi mm. and one decided that he will ignore the speed limits and um, the speed um, requirement as known to us, even when the speed limits are non existent, and the other decides to speed their life to death. The reality we have found over time per various observational study is that the time that the first might save really is, some, is in most cases between five and seven minutes. So that if you were to plan your journey very well, uh, set off in good time, take into account the necessary breaks that you may have to uh, consider along the journey, you would get to your destination um, in good time. So there's really no motivation to speak.